All right, so now I'm gonna be ranking slash tiering slash rating my favorite musicians or artists of all time. First up here is Playboy Cardi. Um, considering that Playboy Cardi invented music, I'm gonna give him the S. I think that's a good spot for him. He could move down, we'll see how this goes, but for now I'm gonna put him as an S. All right, next up we have Godspeed You, Black Emperor. Uh, I think their songs are just a little bit too long in my opinion. Like, come on, be honest. Who really has time for a 30 minute long song when you could just listen to a minute 30 song from Playboy Cardi and have just as much fun, if not more. So Godspeed is gonna go and be, same for Swans again. I don't have the time. I got places to be, people to see, things to do. Get out of here with those 30 minute long songs. Next up we have Phoebe Bridgers. Um, I'm just not a big fan of songwriting like this. I'd rather just hear Cardi, rap about money, hoes, cars, drugs. I just, I, I don't need it. I don't need it, Phoebe. Get out of my life, Phoebe. Same with you, Claro. I just, again, the songwriting, it's just, it's too much to think about. I just really don't need that much of my brain power going towards music, so they're gonna go, both gonna go in C tier there. Um, Black Country New Road, I don't know anyone who would want to just listen to Isaac yell about the most meaningless things for 10 minutes over fiddles. Come on, that's a D tier, definitely. Uh, Black Midi, similar thing here. I just don't really see the appeal. Their, 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 their songs don't even sound like music, and considering Cardi invented music, there's just really no competition. They're going to D tier as well. <sighs> Next up, we have Kendrick Lamar. Um, I am not trying to hear some deep discussion about generational trauma in black families. Again, I wanna hear about money, hoes, drugs, your Lambo, I need that. That's the kind of energy I need in my life. I'm not trying to hear about your trauma, Kendrick. Get out of here with that, man. C tier. Uh, Tyler, the creator. I mean, Playboy Cardi is really the only reason Earthquake has the level of prop popularity that it does. Take Tyler out of that song, probably still has the same amount of streams, maybe even more. You're D tier, buddy. Moses Sumney, um, your falsetto sounds like absolute garbage. Playboy Cardi would outsing you any day of the week. D tier. Jockstrap, I mean, even just by that name, you just give me ick vibes. I don't need these experimental sounds. Get out of here with that. C tier, I don't even care at this point. Death Grip, same thing. It doesn't matter if it's experimental. Cardi invented music, okay? That's experimental. He experimented and he came up with music. We don't need you to experiment any further. Stevie Stevie Wonder, what to say about my boy Stevie? Um, he's just not as good as Cardi. B tier. You know what, we might as well just rename this Cardi, AKA Vamp God, AKA God, AKA Inventor of Music. Little Sims, I mean, Okay, you're an introvert, that's cool, I don't care. Who would be an introvert, honestly? Like, that's just weird. You're just a weirdo, get out of here. Gene Dawson, I mean, you're just obviously trying to rip off Cardi here. I mean, what are these dreads? Like, you're just, you're just a clone. You're just a clone. Get out of here. Bro, Vince Staples wishes he was as hard as Playboy Cardi. Whoa, pause. But you know what I mean, he's not hard. Cardi's hard. Cardi makes me hard. <laughs> D tier. Travis Scott, I mean, your fan base is almost as passionate as the god Cardi, so I gotta give you points for that. I think I'm gonna give you an A tier because, I mean, your fans are pretty crazy at shows. They do lack a certain regard for human life, so I gotta give you bonus points for that. Definitely A tier for Travis Scott. Kevin Abstract, I mean, I don't really have time for vulnerability and honesty in music. Has Kevin Abstract ever fucked a bitch in Panama? Probably not. D tier. Remy Wolf, now she uh she makes fun music. Cardi makes fun music, so there's a there's a correlation there. I think I'm gonna give Remy the A tier. JPEG Mafia, another one of these experimental weirdos. Genesis Wusu, again, another guy just copying Cardi's hairstyle here. I mean, I don't care if people think you made the best album or one of the best albums of 2021. That don't matter to me. Injury Reserve, I don't have time for your weird freaking drums. I need trap beats. I need trap hi-hats. I need fat 808s. I need those hard kicks. I need those fat trap drums. And you don't give that to me, Injury Reserve. Radiohead, I mean, just clearly influenced by Playboy Cardi. Everything they do is just a complete ripoff of this dude. They don't even have any trap drums. What is going on? What are these like rock freaking drums that they got going on? They're terrible. <sighs> Frank Ocean. 
Frankie Frankie boy. I mean, your fans can be pretty passionate, just like Playboy Cardi. I love me a set of, a set of passionate fans. I like when his fans uh, boot off Drake from the stage. That was very um, alpha behavior right there. So you got some bonus points for that, but I'm still thinking of B for Frank Ocean. MF Doom, another just weirdo here. I don't need to hear weird freaking comparisons about food and like, get out of here with that confusing lyrical schmirical jump mumbo jumbo, whatever you want to call it. C tier. Gorillas, they're not even real people. D tier. Kate Bush, I mean, she's only really famous because of Stranger Things. C tier. Uh, Lauren Hill has only like one memorable album. How many does Playboy Cardi have? Uh, let me see here. One, self-titled. Two, dial it. Three, a whole lot of red, AKA the greatest album of all time. D tier. Kanye West, now I do like that you collaborate with Playboy Cardi. Uh, Cardi was definitely the best part of Off The Grid easily. I mean, it could only be that Cardi verse for like five minutes and it would still be just as good, if not even better. So again, I like that you collaborate with him, but I think the songs that you do feature him on, it should just be Cardi. So I'm feeling a C tier. Phil Elvrum, the microphones, Mount Erie. I mean, this dude is just a washed up boomer here. D tier, definitely. Brock Hampton. I mean, you guys have countless allegations on Twitter. Amir was kicked out for sexual abuse. Just, just terrible people in general. D tier. Denzel Curry, people call him the most underrated rapper in the game right now. I don't see how that's possible. Dude makes the wackest music I've ever heard. Chooses the worst beats. I don't need none of this alternative hip hop crap. I need trap. I need trap, okay? Inject trap into my vein. That's what I need. D tier. And then Charlie XCX. I mean, who listens to pop music? Honestly, someone answer that for me. If it ain't trap, it's crap. D tier for Charlie XCX. And there you go. That's my list of my favorite musicians of all time. Um, it does look a little bit lopsided, which I'm, I'm kind of confused by because I thought I was pretty fair in this this ranking here. Um, let me know if you disagree with any of these down below. Again, this is obviously just my personal opinion. It's completely subjective. There's no, there's no right or wrong answer here. Um, I mean, there kind of is. Playboy Cardi is clearly the best on this, on this list. There you go. There is my list, tier list of my favorite musicians of all time. Let me know if I missed anyone down below. I mean, it doesn't really matter because Playboy Cardi is really the only one that matters here. Cardi the God. Cardi the inventor. Cardi makes me hard. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in Panama. I'm for the bitch in Panama.